Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I'm gonna answer a question that I know a lot of you guys have. Uh, a few people have asked me about it, but the uh, question is very easy. The question is, right here, what are these on the bumpers, front bumpers, rear bumpers? Uh, some cars even have them on the side. The question is, what are they? I'm gonna kinda of go into that, and I'm gonna to talk to you about more than just Toyotas. All right, so first off, I'm gonna tell you where are they, all right? You see them on the front bumper. I've seen four on the front. I've seen um, where you have uh, three on the front, of course. Um, if you look, like there, here's a Lexus right here. You're gonna see on the back, sometimes they're color-coded. Sometimes they look a little bit different. Regardless of how they look, and we'll pop over, here's a Ford, all right? This one's got, down here, you can see them, in, there's four in the back bumper there. This is a Nissan Frontier truck. So like I said, it, it doesn't matter the manufacturer. A lot of times it matters the trim level. So sometimes you'll have them on the back and not the front. Sometimes, I mean, there's there's different things that you'll, you'll notice, right? So see there's none on the front of the Ford, but you got on the front of the Lexus, of course. And then you'll also see this one's got the four because you got hidden in the grill. So sometimes, sometimes they'll be hidden that way. Um, Regardless of how they look, regardless of where they are, uh, the question is, like I said, what are they? And what do they do? So I'm gonna show you right here, all right? So what they're called, this is on the back of a Sequoia. So you'll see on the back of a Sequoia here as well, that it's right there. So it's called ultrasonic sensors, all right? So what are they? Easiest way to describe them is sonar, all right? So what it does is it will actually send out a sound wave and receive that sound wave back. When it does that, it's it's doing that so that uh, it can judge a distance. And then usually what happens, and depending on how you have your car set, is you'll start to get a beep, 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 beep. As you get closer, that those beeps will become more frequent, all right? As you become further away, those beeps will become less frequent. If you clear the obstacle, those beeps will stop. Some cars also have a way that you can silence the beeps, which most of them do. Um, some cars have a way to where you can go and uh, adjust it to whether it's only an audible signal or only a visual signal. You can adjust all that. So um, that being said, you can make most of these systems and most of the manufacturers, you can make them more of what you would want them to be and to where uh, they would definitely just um, do what you want them to do all right so i'll show you over here you got a platinum highlander right you can see this sometimes like i said they're colored the same as the car sometimes they're black sometimes they'll have little rings around them they all do the same thing though so like i said it's most people call it parking sonar the official term for it is that it's ultrasonic sensors for vehicle parking now i will note that on the prius and if you look at my video on the self park on the prius they actually have those sensors on the side too. They're doing the same thing, but it, it has on the Prius, it would have a sensor like right here on the, the front of the, uh, the back bumper and, and then on the rear of the front bumper to help to search for parking, all right? So that being said, like I said, you'll get a little uh, icon on your dash that will um, give you the, the beep, 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 or um, you know, the, uh, um audible or the visual tone all right so that being said i want to note one other thing and i'll and i'll show you this on a couple of other vehicles all right so this one the sequoia there's a panel right here this is a millimeter wave radar all right that is for your cruise control that is not for the parking all right so it uses that millimeter wave radar as part of your safety sense along with the um, the video camera. So that way it uh, can actually sense the car ahead of you. And if you're about to run into that car, it can obviously adjust itself. Um, so now depending on the car that you have, the year that the car is, things like that, they could be in different spots. Toyota usually in most vehicles will actually put it right here. So if you can't find that little window, which like I said, normally you'll see that little window. If you can't find that little window where it has to be down a little bit further, uh, if you're on a Camry, a Corolla, um, things along those lines, the, um, in any of the lower vehicles, especially your RAV4, you're, um, you're going to have that millimeter wave radar is actually going to be right behind that emblem. Um, 
So I will mention something else when talking about that millimeter wave radar with the parking sensors and things along those lines is that you also want to make sure that you don't cover those sensors. All right. So I've seen people put wreaths on the front of their cars, um, you know, put something, you know, tie down ropes, things like that in front of their cars. You don't want to have that be an issue. So now the other thing that I want to mention, and, and the only reason I brought up the wave radar is I want to let you know that that's not part of that sensor. All right. The other thing that I want to mention is that a lot of these cars that have these sensors have what's known, at least in the Toyota world, as intelligent clearance sonar. Now, outside of the, the Toyota world, um, and I'll kind of let you look at me here for a minute, but outside of the Toyota world, the intelligent clearance sonar might be called something different. Um, but you have basically the car can actually hit the brakes if you're about to roll into something. Now, the pre-collision system will also hit the brakes if you're about to roll into something, but it's a little bit different because the pre-collision system is watching while you're driving. Um, the, the other system is a low speed system. So the intelligent clearance sonar will actually, if you're, you know, your foot fell off the brake, you're at a stoplight, you don't have the brake hold system engaged. If, if that was to be what happened, um, then you're going to have the, the brakes actually apply and hold for a couple seconds while you're, you're going into something. Um, some people, they, you know, end up looking at some of my videos on the ICS because they're going through a car wash and the things hanging on a car wash will cause the car to break because it sees an obstacle. It doesn't necessarily know what it is. So it would just kind of like tap your brakes to kind of let you know that you're about to run into something. So um, that being said, you can disable that system. You can disable the sound system when it comes to the, uh, the intelligent clearance sonar. You can disable all of those systems. There is none of those that you can't disable. Now you will get an icon on your dash in that particular case that lets you know that it is disabled and it obviously wants you to enable it. You can leave it disabled as long as you'd like, but uh, it's gonna leave that icon on your dash. So, um, but like I said, I'm not talking about just Toyota. I'm talking about pretty much every brand out there has um, the ability to use those. And, and like you saw on just the ones that are right here um, with the Lexus, obviously Lexus is Toyota. So um, they're the same, but you're gonna see, like I said, the Nissan or the Ford that's over there. If I walk my other lot, you're gonna, you know, which this, these are just used cars that are up here. And I'll just show you a, a quick, quick glance up here. And you'll be able to see that a lot of them are, are on the vehicles that are up here, just depending on the, the kind of car now like i said some of them won't have the front a lot of them tend to just use the back sensors but here's a jeep right we got a jeep right here so you got all four sensors on the back but this one didn't have any sensors on the front all right you got there's a chevy traverse and i know these are back kind of close but you can see got those right there okay so if you're looking at a, a few of these options then you're going to notice that i'm not wrong they're they're pretty much on about every car that's made um, just depending on the trim level like i said sometimes the the lower levels if you have the the base model of something it might not have it here's a ford fusion All right we're over there so um here's a mustang right so we're on a mustang you see they're on they're on the back there so but uh, just kind of like i said it depends on which car you're looking at it depends on which trim level you're looking at. Um, it's on the trucks, which I'll show you that over here right now, because I'm coming over to some Tundras. Um, got a Chevy that's over here, so if you take a look, here's a Silverado, right? You got them, them on the back. I mean, and they're color-coded on that as well, right? And then here's a Tundra, this is a Limited. So what you'll see is, you know, they didn't color-code it on this one, this one's black, right? But, you know, all four of them are black on the back there, so. Um, it doesn't actually look bad if they're not color coded. It just, it's easier to tell that you have that, right? Come over, got a Tacoma over here. Like I said, the only reason I'm extending this a little bit is I'm showing you this, right? You got that right there. It'll hide pretty good in the plastic, right? Here's a, here's a Dodge, right? So all of these vehicles that you see, they have these sensors on them. Um, here's, here's a Ram Laramie, right? You'll see that sensor's hidden a little bit better right down there here's an f-150 right f-150 is a good great selling truck right so you got your sensors in the back there so 
that being said i'm just showing you guys exactly what you're um, looking at a lot of people ask what those things do um, there's some people that think they do things that they don't do um, but they uh, they have a lot of things that uh, uh, on these cars that are meant to keep you safe um, but that one right there it's really just meant to keep you from damaging your property or somebody else's um, because realistically when you're using that you're probably pretty slow speed um, if you're 60 miles an hour and you're coming up on somebody, that sonar system is not what you're using. You're you're using the millimeter wave radar. You're using a pre-collision pre system. You're not using that, right? So um, it's it really is a slow speed warning system meant to keep you from backing into things, trash cans, mailboxes, other cars, um, people um, in some cases. Um, that's actually a little bit harder for it to sense just because people move. Um, animals things like that move so it, it really is not good at sensing that kind of stuff but in uh, a, a shouldn't be moved object it definitely can sense those things so it's it's on a really really small scope so if you ever look at the the wavelength that it works in it's in a really small scope forward and back to how it actually sends out that sound signal and gets it back so it, it's not meant to see something there's a reason that there's four of them on the back um, is because you need four of them on the back you know that's how you cover the entire back area so and uh, but that being said Steve watch being a Toyota are about to be interrupted by some sirens here you know in a lot of my videos that happens but um, but definitely let me know if you guys have any questions uh, if you want to add to what I'm I described here definitely appreciate that as well um, but um, definitely uh, like, subscribe, appreciate every one of you guys. If you're looking for a car, I'd love to be your salesperson. Uh, if you want to come to Nashville, if uh, uh, you're in the area, definitely reach out to me. Steve Watts with Beamer Toyota. I hope you guys have a great day. I look forward to helping you guys and answering any questions that you might have on the system. So Steve Watts with Beamer Toyota. You guys have a great day.